Well, welcome, and I'm Fran Tarkington, and uh, today we have with us another entrepreneur, uh, Kara Mae Melton, who I met some years ago in San Diego, California. Mm -hmm. Then you were the chief operating officer for, for kind of an early stage company called Law Info. Yes. What did Law Info do? Law Info is an online uh, legal resource for people, and the business model was uh, selling marketing, really, to attorneys. Attorneys need to be marketing. <laughs> <That's a laughs> and I know that I know the company, and, and you did such a great job mm -hmm. there, and the com company still prospers, and you oh, grew yeah, it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and you really gave a platform for lawyers to be able to reach out to, to more prospects, a, a, mm -hmm. a good marketing idea that, that's done well. Right. Okay, so you did that for a while. Yes. And then now you moved to Virginia, and now you've got a new startup company. Tell yes. me about that, Karamay. Okay, the company is called Care Conscious, and really we are dedicated to remedying two main issues that we see right now. And one of them is our societal approach to family caregiving. We really believe that our approach right now is flawed. We believe that family caregivers are not in a position to be proactive and not in a position to plan properly, and, and we want to remedy that. And the second thing is that we believe that the way in which family caregivers receive resources on the web today is outdated and ineffective. And so we set out to change that. <laughs> and what a big project. <laughs> it's a lot, <laughs> yes. <laughs> because I would think uh, the, 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 the two biggest markets are one that we're all in here it is entrepreneurship. Right. And then we've got the aging population that we have and, and our parents, grandparents, and so forth yes. uh, uh, need care. We don't know what to do. It's expensive. Very expensive. And we're living longer lives. I mean, I just you know, re read, where, you know, Andy Rooney uh, from 60 mm -hmm. Minutes died at, what, 93? Mike Wallace just died yeah. at 93. We're seeing people, somebody died at 114 a, a, a mm -hmm. week or two ago. So people are living longer, more active lives, but also when they get to that position, it, it's, it's terribly expensive on, on families, and they don't know what to do, do they? They don't. They really don't know what to do. And as a society, we don't realize right now that 80% of the long-term care for seniors in this country is handled by family caregivers. Get out of here. No, over 66 million family caregivers in the U.S. and growing. And we are largely ignoring them and their needs, yet we are completely reliant on them for the senior care in this country. It's completely backwards. And you really have to because there are only so many nursing homes. Right. And where they're filled up and overflowed, and most people cannot afford a mm -hmm. uh, 24-hour uh, a nursing service, right? Right. And so it, it comes it's to, to the family member, and it's something we don't want to think about. No, nobody likes to think about it. all of a sudden, we got it, and uh. mm -hmm. So what a business opportunity, and what a great service, right. which is the match, is, is the is. value, you know? Uh, we, we talk about differentiate yourself. We talk about ha having products and services that bring something to the customer. Mm -hmm. Wow, this brings something to the customer. It does. And what a market. So how, how are you going about it? Well, the first thing we're doing really, and, and we're just coming out of development, is we wanted to figure out what would work for family caregivers. Uh, there are a lot of really good websites out there today with a lot of information. A lot of information. And that's what we realized, that the, what's out there right now just really overwhelms family caregivers. People don't wake up one morning and say, ah, I want to be a family caregiver. I want to take care of my senior mom and dad. It doesn't typically work that way. And when a family caregiver realizes either that they are caring and they are being a primary caregiver or an instance happens, somebody has a stroke or goes into the hospital and immediately they're a caregiver, they just don't know what to do. So by overwhelming them with a ton of information and making them sift through that isn't super effective. Yeah. So we took a look at what was out there and we wanted to do something better. We didn't want to overwhelm them. We didn't want to shove a bunch of information down their throats that they didn't need at the particular time. Yeah. So the first thing we did was came up with the idea of creating a program for family caregivers. Okay. The program's called the Eight Principles Program and it breaks the categories of need for family caregivers down into eight main principles. Okay. And so the way the program works online is you create a profile, a caregiver's profile, and then you go through the eight different principles or eight different sections of the site. And each section follows the same easy flow. You watch an informational video, gives you an overview all about uh, that principle and that category of need, tells you, hey, these are the things you should be thinking about. 
even if this isn't where you are now, chances are you're going you're to be, be there, there at some point. Yeah. So think about this. And then right from there, they take a simple assessment so that we can gather information about their particular need. And then after the assessment, they get a customized family caregiver's plan right there online. They can print it out or they can refer to it online whenever they want. They can send it to their family members and, and share it with them as well. Okay, now is this website up and running now? Or yes. It's the, up and running now? Tell our people where it, uh, where it is. It's at careconscious.com. And uh, right now you can access the program. Anybody can access the program. It's, it's very simple to do. Uh, it, we tell people that it is a commitment. When you sign up for a program, um, in order for this to work, you do have to answer the assessment questions. And there may be, you know, 10 questions per, per principal. Yeah. But if you can take the time to do that, then you get the information that's customized to you and your needs. And that's really where the value Does is. Does that cost money? for no. them to do that. That's a free website. Yes. They get that that, that uh, assessment free. Yes. Comes back, you send them this. Now, do they have any interaction at that point or after that point with some, with a person that they can talk to? Good question. We have a care line. And right now the care line is free. Eventually, uh, as we move forward, there will be a cost for the care line, but it's 24 seven. Somebody can pick up the phone if they just need to talk to somebody and uh, get their questions answered. And you know, we always need to talk to somebody. <laughs> yeah. You know, so much is online on this, mm -hmm. and email this, and email that, and text. But eventually, I want to talk to somebody. That's very true. You know, you want to you want to get a live person who has some knowledge that you can trust. Mm -hmm. So you're building content. Yes. Uh, and if, where are you where are you getting this information that that you give back out to the care uh, to to the caregivers? Oh, uh, great question. We consult with experts all the time. Yeah and family caregivers and people involved in helping family caregivers so that we can keep our finger on the pulse of what's important now and what's going to be important and tomorrow. And who are experts in this area? This is all new to me. Who, who, well, geriatric care managers are a great start for any family caregiver. These are people that are dedicated to making sure that seniors get the type of care that they need and helping the family members to provide that type of care. So I think geriatric care managers don't get enough, uh, enough recognition. And I think a lot of people don't even know that they exist to help. Does any kind of health care insurance cover this? Medicare, Medicare, is it covered in any of these, uh, what you're going to be doing? Uh, at some points, and at it really point. depends. Um, the insurance is pretty complicated. Yeah. So it really, what happens is it depends on what the need of the, the care recipient is and what the situation is for the family caregiver. So it's hard for me to, to outline for you what would be covered, what types of services they would need and yep. what would be covered. But the alarming thing is that most people think that if they're on Medicare, that they're good to go. And that's not, that's the, not case. the case. It's not the case. So that's what we want to tell people that, hey, think about this stuff now. Not only as a family caregiver, but take responsibility for your own senior care now and start planning early because it's, you're just not covered. You have to plan for that. There's no such insurance then. I mean, you've got long-term care. Does that cover you some? You have long-term care. Does that cover some of this, uh, I would guess? Yes, and there are all different policies. So you'd want to look into the long-term care policies and what is covered and what is not. And, of course, the premiums are based on the coverage. This is go really going to be for families, which is, I think I heard you say, 80% of the families mm -hmm. that are having to provide care for their, for their family members. That will be people that are not going to nursing homes. Yes, a lot yeah. of times it's, it's either in place of nursing homes or sometimes before nursing home. Uh, Unfortunately, it, uh, there are just some folks that will have to go into that type of yeah. full-time care situation. And despite maybe what the family caregiver wants or even what the senior may want, and sometimes that just happens. Yeah. But the idea is that if we can better help the family caregivers deal with their situations yeah. emotionally, oh. logistically, we found that it's a lot of times it's not the tasks that really get to the family caregiver. The, the tasks and the work can be easy in and yeah. of themselves. It's the emotions that are attached to that that cause the stress. Yeah, because they're used to this healthy, healthy family member. Yeah. And now the family member needs a wheelchair, the family member doesn't talk, they have Alzheimer's or mm -hmm. dementia or, or, or whatever that, that and, and 
you know, just last night on my radio program, I have a radio show on Sirius XM uh, radio from seven to nine on Monday nights, and right. and and we were we were we had a, a doctor from Embry University here, and we're talking about dementia and Alzheimer's and yeah. so forth, and and he said that going forward, one out of three people over eighty five from eighty five and up are going to get Alzheimer's. Thirty five million people. That gets to epidemic state, and there is no cure. I know. There's a test that just came out that uh, that was FDA approved mm -hmm. that will help identify that earlier, but we're 20, 30 years away from anything that can help Alzheimer's, yeah. dementia, so forth. So this problem is not going away. No, it's not. It's going to get more fluid, and it's going to get, and we're going to come back to you and, mm -hmm. and hear more of this about how you're going to execute this and how you're going to scale this and how you're going to go out and reach people. And we'll be back in just a moment. Thank you.